What's this called? The Canvas Tuner. Paint a perfect tune. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to Working Class Music. This is Jason from the past, talking as Jason from the future because this comes out November 1st and this is Jason from the past. Inception. That was a topical reference. Yes. yes. <laughs> so on today's episode, we are checking out the brand new pedal for Walrus Audio. It's not a delay, it's not a phaser, it's not a distortion, it's not a reverb, it's a tuner. So, I'm gonna level with you guys. Are you gonna tune with them? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a good one, we can keep that in there. You're not my supervisor! So, I'm gonna level with you guys. Uh, when my friends at War sent this out to me, I was a bit skeptical, like everybody else. I'm just like, a tuner? On paper, it's just like, what can you do that is different? So, you know, Tia and I were talking, and the rest of the team and I were talking, we were originally just gonna do a whole comedy video about this, but, I got it out of the box and I was kind of impressed. So I wanted to go over some of the features and you know why this tuner impressed me. Let's talk about some of the features. Let's start with one of the biggest selling points of this tuner and why I think it's actually pretty damn cool. The accelerometer, and that's what I'm calling it. I don't care if they have an official name for it. It's an accelerometer. And what that accelerometer does is give you limitless potential for pedal board placement. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Ultimate power. It means you can rotate this pedal at a 90 degree, 180 degree, or 270 degree angle on your pedal board. So, for instance, go to display, go to orientation, you see zero degrees, change it to 90 degrees, and it's like that. Go back to orientation, change it to 180 degree, and it's like that. And then you go back again, 270, like that. And back to zero degrees. So that is pretty cool. For me, as a pedal board junkie, this opens the door for a lot of possible placement on your pedal board. So if you're OCD like me, you can put it anywhere and it'll still be fine. The most important aspect about a tuner is the tuning capabilities. So the classic debate, strobe or needle? Why not both? This pedal has the easiest strobe mode to use and I'll show you. Yeah, simple, easy. Here is the needle mode. Oh, wow. It's a new reaction. Also included in this is four different bypass modes. You have buffered bypass, true bypass, monitor mode, and pass through. Also, another cool feature is the tune assist which allows for faster tuning from one string to the next. Yep, there's Tune Assist. Let's go with Instant. When it's in tune, it lights up. So you see the little square around it, it just lit up. One of my favorite features, probably my most favorite is this tuner actually has three different ways you can personalize this. You have the screensaver mode, which, you know, it's a cool little screensaver. For the 80s retro gamer, this would probably be pretty cool. Now, if you want other features, you can change it to the classic canvas. So yeah, that's just the canvas backdrop. And my favorite is the picture mode, which is this. Now the cool thing about the picture mode is there's a link on the Wars website where you can go to to upload your own pictures and create your own backdrops. Yeah, it's that easy. Now that I've told you about all the cool features, let's get on to the sound. Nelson, please don't use the audio from any of this. Not gonna lie, that's the best sounding tuner ever. The tone on that is just 
Mwah. Loris has done it again. Final thoughts and first impressions. I was very reluctant to check this out, but I approached this with an open mind and honestly, with all the features, I think it's probably one of the best tuners on the market. And I say this as a devout Peterson Strobel Stomp user. It is the easiest strobe tuner to use. Like you just hit the note and then the circle corrects itself. You don't have the two moving circles like on the Peterson. So I think for anyone looking to get into their first strobe tuner, this is it. And if you don't like the strobe mode, you have the needle mode. Other than that, yeah, you got the fact that you can upload pictures on here to have your own backdrop. So when you're looking on stage, you know where your pedal is. A big selling point, which I think everybody will love, is the accelerometer. So you can set this pedal literally anywhere on your pedal board. No other tuning pedal offers this. And I think that's a feature that at least Peterson should implement. But that is pretty handy if you have a huge pedal board. I think it looks great. It is very aesthetically pleasing. And come on, we like aesthetically pleasing stuff. And yeah, the tone on this, for all the tone hounds, mwah, best sounding tuner ever. In all seriousness, I think this is a device that you should have on your pedal board if you want to replace your tuner or if you're in the market for a tuner. This tuner is going to retail for $148.99. It's a great product by Waris. You would really be doing yourself a favor if you need a new tuner or if you're looking to replace your other tuner to just check this one out. It's definitely a top contender. And like I said, best sounding pedal ever. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you to the kind folks at Waris. I was pleasantly surprised. So yeah, thank you to them. Down below, leave a comment. Which game are you playing right now? Spider-Man 2 or Super Mario Wonder? or maybe both. So with that said, thanks again. Check down below for links and uh, laters. This tuner will retail for about 150 ish. So, I mean, it's about 150 ish. Okay. It could be $300. That's about 150 by half. And.